In this video, I will compare Zapier versus Make versus N8 and to tell you which of these automation softwares is best and why. So first I'll cover what exactly they do, how easy they are to use and how many integrations they have, starting with Zapier. So Zapier in my opinion is really easy to use, it's not the easiest of these three, but it is decently simple. You can see right here what their builder looks like, it's just a simple list. So you start with a trigger, then you have a, if the trigger happens, then I want this to happen in this other software, and then you can add more steps if you want. Now in terms of integrations, Zapier is absolutely amazing, they have 7610 apps that you can integrate with, so that's more than any other software out there. Now looking at Make, in my opinion Make is actually the easiest of these to use. You can see it's more of a visual builder like you can see right here. But in terms of the amount of integrations that they have, they do have a lot less integrations compared to Zapier. You can see if we head into their integrations right here, they have in total 1960 apps. Now most of the main ones will be included, but still it's less than a third of that of Zapier. Now N8N has even less apps, it has only about 1000 apps and you can see those right here when you click see all integrations. So what I recommend when you are making a decision between these three softwares, the first thing that I definitely recommend is go to zapier.com forward slash apps, make.com forward slash integrations and N8N io forward slash integrations and just check for all the apps that you want to use and see if they are included and if only one of them has all the apps that you want to use then automatically i would go with that one and if one of them doesn't have every single one that you want to use then i wouldn't look at that one anymore because it won't be able to do everything that you want it to now in terms of pricing they are also very different and by the way the n8 and ease of use i think it can be a lot more difficult than zapier because they also allow you to add code and stuff like that into your workflows as you can see right here so it can be a lot more difficult than Zapier but it can also be pretty easy because you don't have to use the code but I would say N8N is the hardest to use so easiest is Make, then Zapier and then N8N. Now in terms of pricing Zapier is definitely the most expensive option although they do have a free plan with 100 tasks per month but for most people that won't be enough. But let's say that we want to use 10,000 tasks. You will see that will be 118 euros, even up to 155 euros, depending on which plan you want to use. Now looking at makes pricing, if we also want 10,000 tasks here, it can be as low as $9 per month and you can get 1,000 of them for free. Now you can see right here what is included in each of these. So for example, if you want custom variables, scenario inputs, full text execution logs, operation usage and priority scenario execution, you will need to get the pro plan if you want to have multiple teams or high priority and you want to create and share scenario templates, then you will need to get the team plan. Now for most people, the pro plan will be the best plan here. It's also the recommended one. But remember that right here it's $16 per month for 10,000 tasks and Zapier is about 118 euros or 155. Comparing this to N8N, if you head into their pricing, 10,000 tasks, right here, 50 euros per month. So that makes Make the cheapest by far out of these, since even if you get the most premium plan, it's $29 per month for 10,000 tasks per month, then N8N is 50 euros per month for 10,000 tasks per month, and Zapier is up to 155 euros for 10,000 tasks per month. So when making a decision, again, first look at all the apps if they are included. But I would say if you're looking for a really wide range of different apps that you want to integrate and you're looking for a relatively simple option that still has a lot of customizability, then I would go with Zapier. If you're looking for the easiest option that is also the cheapest, then I would go with Make, although it isn't as good at creating really advanced workflows. And N8N, in my opinion, is the best for really advanced workflows because you can add code and stuff like that. So that concludes this comparison of Zapier versus Make versus N8N. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.